We have another reselling fraudster who scammed her way into $8 million worth of makeup and health and beauty products. Wait till you see how she did it, and better yet, wait till you see what she spent the money on. Another day, guys, and another reselling scammer, thief, fraud artist, whatever you want to call her. Thankfully, this time, this lady didn't go on social media and scam a lot of you out in the community, but... She did rip off retail stores for over $8 million out of California and other stores across the country. So let me tell you about this lady, Michelle Mack, out of Bonsall, California. And I'm going to take you over to my screen and show you this and show you the house she purchased with this money because it is insane. So apparently what Miss Mack did, Michelle Mack out of Bonsall, California, which is a town uh, a little bit north of San Diego area. I think some of you here probably from California, probably familiar with that area. She was hiring people from all over the country, some from California, some from other places, to come to retail stores, mainly Alta, sometimes Sephora and Mac Makeup and a few other places, to basically shoplift makeup and cosmetics and high-end stuff out of those stores. You guys know how expensive stuff like MAC uh, makeup and things from Sephora and Ulta, uh, the Jenners, you know, they had makeup. I know how expensive all that stuff is. Yes, there's a woman that lives in my house and uses some of that stuff. Little tiny things. You guys pay like 50, 60 bucks for these little tiny makeup things. Crazy to me, but I get it. I get it. I'm not going to hate on you. Anyways, she would hire these people to steal this makeup, shoplift it, because it's easy to shoplift, easy to store. She would have them bring it to her, and she would pay them for doing this. In fact, she sometimes paid their plane tickets, their hotels, their uh, travel expenses, their food, whatever they needed to come into town and go to like 10 stores and shoplift all day, and then bring it to her. So she was a fence. She was a professional fence. They would give her all this makeup, thousands and thousands of dollars in makeup in one day, and she'd give them, you know, whatever she paid them, expenses plus a few hundred dollars, and then she would put it on to Amazon and sell it under her store, 95 and Sunny Makeup Store. Well, she did $8 million in sales doing this. From 2012 is when she apparently started, but it doesn't look like she was doing any serious sales until 2021. So maybe like three, four years of serious sales. But even if you uh, divide that out over 10 years, she was doing 800,000 a year in sales and profiting probably a half million or more. But let's be honest, the first couple years she probably didn't do jack. So she was doing over a million dollars. If we just say it was in the last eight years or seven years, she's doing over a million dollars a year and how much she was keeping is probably significant, 50, 60% if I had to guess. That's staggering. Amazon actually worked with the police and the FBI and the federal agents because this is federal level because it was in multiple states and they got her 1099s, which is proof of the sales she was doing. And again, she's innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, so we'll have to see where this goes. But she was able to afford a pretty they have a good lifestyle. In fact, I'm going to show you. Let's go over to the screen. I'll show you the evidence the police have against her, the rest of the story, and this nutso house that she purchased. Whew, wait, do you guys see it? All right, so this is out of San Diego, uh, the local new CBS 8 there. Uh, her name is Michelle Mack, and she's accused of recruiting people to steal beauty products uh, from Ulta stores in 21 counties before selling them at a discount on her Amazon storefront. This was actually released on February 16th, a couple of weeks ago. I saw this story last week. I just didn't get a chance to make it because we had all the other drama with another scammer. Just to add it to the list. Uh, charges were announced against her for leading the statewide retail crime spree of more than $8 million in beauty. Now, I tell you guys all the time, if the police know about $8 million, there's probably far more they don't know about. Sometimes they'll trump up charges and exaggerate them, but in this case, they have pretty good numbers from Amazon. Um, so it included San Diego County, Orange County, LA County, Riverside County, all over California. Um, so their investigation in December, uh, CBS 8 learned through search warrants that federal agents had arrested Michelle Mack from Bonsall as the head of the criminal enterprise. The Attorney's General Office has not officially named Mack as the woman charged with running the retail theft operation. However, she has been named in other charges, which I can show you. Uh, during the investigation of the Department of Homeland Security, that's when you know you're in trouble, federal investigators. The California Department of Justice, the USPS, and California Highway Patrol collaborated with retail crime teams from Alta and Sephora. So why the USPS? Because she was mailing this stuff to her customers, the stolen merchandise, and she was receiving it from some of her uh, uh, retail theft people. 
Mac is accused of recruiting young, young women to steal beauty products from Alta locations in 21 counties before selling them at a discount on our Amazon store. Alta Beauty is proud to partner with the California Department of Justice and Attorney General's Office on this investigation, and we're grateful for their commitment to this important issue, who is their Senior Vice President of Loss Prevention. Federal raid happened on December 6, 2023, uh, and they raided her Mac Bonsall residence and, according to the arrest warrants, uh, arrested her. I'm going to show you the house in a minute. At the Bonsall residence, law enforcement located and seized hundreds of parcels prepped for shipment that would be ultimately mailed at the post office. Agents also found a mini store of stolen goods and cosmetics worth approximately $350,000. According to the search warrants, officers then discovered that Mac was the head of an Amazon marketplace store that had listings for over 300 cosmetic items, probably a ton of quantity. Read, uh, reads the warrant. The, list, the items uh, listed for sale were nearly 50% off the actual retail price, which was included in the sale listings, and the steep discount suggested the items were being fenced. I say this all the time, guys. Nobody has a secret, super secret, special wholesale deal with MAC makeup and Sephora to buy their stuff where they can sell it to you so cheap. The same goes for Lululemon and Alo and, and Stanley. These people who are telling you they've got these super ultra secret deals are lying. They're lying. It's either fake stuff they got from Ali Baba or somewhere else, or it's stolen off the back of the truck. And I'm not saying they stole it. I'm saying they got it from someone who probably hustled it out the back door or off the truck or stole it or whatever. It, nobody, Mac Makeup is not going to sell you their $30 makeup thing uh, so that you can sell it on Amazon for 15 and after fees and shipping have 10 left. So that means they would have had to sell it to you for five bucks. It's not going to happen. They don't do it. It doesn't exist. Stop. On liquidation pallets, maybe you can get lucky sometimes and find some goods at deep, deep discounts, but it's very, very rare. And to have it in this quantity nonstop over and over again, non-existent. Doesn't happen. They're lying to you. Okay. Um, the investigation found that Mac's online makeup store had documented nearly $2 million in sales in 2022. Just $2 million in one year, which is what I said. She probably did a majority of this $8 million in the last couple of years. So you could scroll down and you could see all the other... Um, all the other uh, news about her. If you actually Google this Michelle uh, Mac Alta, Alta theft and you come down here, they actually have uh, more to the story about Amazon. I believe it was on... Um, this one talks about the defendants, how they have 140 charges against them. Um, this is the one we just read. There was one other one which said, okay, here you go. So she had, they said the $350,000, they were paying 12 women for their travel expenses as well as providing them with a list of retail stores to target. Uh, They apparently found text messages from her. Um, They found all kinds of stuff. Uh, They sometimes mailed the stolen goods to a Bonsall post office, which is what she was using, a P.O. box to get the products. No one answered the door at Max Bonsall home, though the dogs announced their arrival. Uh, They were living in a multi-million dollar home, while some neighbors say they're paying the price for their alleged crime. Of course, that means prices go up for everyone. Uh, Some neighbors say they're happy to see the house uh, for sale, considering it's recently been rented out for weddings and other events. I bet it has been. Wait do you see this. In total, 140 counts. Uh, and they're working to find out when their first court appearance was. Here you go. Let's take a look at this crazy house that she had. Bam. There it is. And I don't care if the address shows up or you can find it because they're criminals or alleged criminals. And I'm not going to hide their stuff. So look at this house. Look at this front overhang. Look at this backyard, right? Look at this pool and overhang hot tub. This is beautiful. And again, it's in San Diego, California. Very wealthy, well-to-do area. It's expensive. This house in my area would probably be a million, half million million seven five maybe probably under two million but definitely a million and a half at least look at this pool and hot tub with the view anything with a view like that maybe it would approach two million here i'm not sure i mean in california i'm surprised this house isn't more than what they're asking for it currently for sale for 2.8 million dollars i mean look at the inside it's all done up you got tvs you got wood and brick layovers you got look at this house this is what stealing and selling on amazon will get you for a year or two look at his office he's got a slot machine and he's got all kinds of memorabilia and you know all kinds of stuff that just costs a lot of money to have in an office or a tv room they got you know spare bedrooms masters second kitchens you know everything everybody would want to have in a house this house had it i mean the bathrooms with a view the closet these people were living the life. You know, look at the laundry rooms, very professional. The backyard is rentable for weddings, which I'm sure that was like an aisleway. You know, they had their own little vineyard going on. I mean, 
this place was no joke. Maybe they were trying to go, you know, legit and legal. They had their own hot tub there. I don't know why. Uh, they were trying to go legit, maybe turning this into some kind of business income. But there's the property. There's the whole entire property. That's crazy. So $2 million house. Crime pays, you guys, but only for a little while. They got to enjoy that for, what, a couple of years? They, I think they bought it in, like, 21. Now they're going to go to jail for decades, if not a decade, if not many, many years. So don't do it. Don't steal. Don't don't sell stuff that you don't own and, and, and build an empire that's just going to collapse. Do things the right way. You may not ever get to this, but you'll at least be able to live a life that you can look back on and be thankful that you didn't live like these people lived and looking over your shoulder and going to jail and having the life uh, that they had and now will never have going forward. So as always, crime doesn't pay. Thank you to the scammers for another story, another video. Appreciate you guys watching and... Uh, now you know kind of why makeup costs so much money. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, we have an all-in-one listing photography and fulfillment service now. Ecom Fulfillment Solutions, email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll get you more information. You send your inventory in. We pay for you to send it in. We photograph it. We list it. We store it. We pack it. We ship it. We provide the packing materials, and you pay one flat fee. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com for pricing and process. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.